Donc thank you Shaka for the holiday, you can see in the screen time from the list and do them back to back for time in the spirit of a shitathlon. It's, I mean it is only the spirit of a shitathlon because uh, shitathlon, triathlon. It's not the spirit of a shitathlon, it is a shitathlon in the spirit of a triathlon. So here's your pickings for today. A hundred split snatches. So, if you click on prepare down below, you'll see a demo of a barbell split snatch, split snatch. But you can also do it with a dumbbell. So, for the to do with words, words are hard. Um, <laughs> so the way it'll start from the floor, it'll go overhead as you catch it. But when as you catch it, you'll land in a split stance. Okay, like a split jerk. Yeah, but that's not a watch prepare. Um, 100 devil. I'm not starting again. I am not starting again. Um, 100 devil press step ups. So dumbbells go on the floor. You drop to the floor in between them like a burpee. Come back up. Jump your wee tootsies in. Dumbbells go straight up. Overhead, can't go overhead with this shoulder. Ouchy, it's got an ouchy. Um, overhead, and then you bring them back down by your side to do a step up. So one devil press burpee uh, up onto your tootsies, dumbbell step up. I think that's a good one. And then 120 taters, so that's like a Russian swing with a squat. If you don't know, don't do it. Um, 100 push jerks, that seems like an easy choice. How come I made that so easy? Well, I'm not editing it. It's theirs, yours for the taking. Um, 100 cartwheels, that's a better choice. I would do that. Uh, my cartwheels are so bad. I did this once, by the way, this 100, I've probably told you this story. Um, I did 100 cartwheels for a time. You do not want to know how long it took me. seemed like a good idea at the time which means you'll probably think it's a great idea um, <laughs> 120 floor presses or bench presses as you wish barbell dumbbells don't mind um 100 burpees oh, oh missed something 150 100 burpees bloody bloody blah, blah burpee 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 make them easier if you need to hands on every surface all that stuff uh, 150 box jumps, higher or as low as you like, they don't need to be high box jumps, but they could be. I don't mind. Uh, or you could do jump over, so if you want to jump, do a two footed jump over something like a hurdle or a bench or a cat or something. Um, and then we've got 30 wall climbs, so start with your feet against the wall, facing chest down, uh, lying on the floor, and then just stay there. No. It's not even the scaled version. <laughs> then come up onto your hands, step your feet up the wall, shiggle your wee butt back up to the wall until your chest to the wall and then shiggle yourself back down. Click on prepare. There'll be a demo. Um, do a kilometer burden run. So this burden run could be anything at all. You could carry a lamb. Don't steal them, right? Okay, it's hard enough around here. I love this time of year. Oh, wee lammies, wee lammies. Um, yes, don't, don't, don't burden them with a lamb. God, where, why, why did? Yeah, I was, I was talking about the idea of not telling you this, but I'm going to tell you this. Um, just um, outside our house, across the street, in a couple of fields along, there's tiny horses, uh, and they're like they're so small. I mean, like tiny. I'd recommend taking one of them on a bird and run. Oh, God. Like, they literally make me want to cry. They're so cute. I mean, like... Oh, like, it's... Oh, my God, they're amazing. I mean, they're completely pointless. There's, like, eight of them in a field together. It's like... Because, like, what else are they going to do? You can't ride them. Like can't take them for a walk on the lead. They're, you're not going to sit on them on your lap, right? I mean, they're, they are like 
the most pointless animal. It's not like a cat that purrs or a dog that fetches a stick. I mean, it is literally, they exist literally just to be tiny. And it's amazing. And it's the best thing ever. I mean, you can, you can make, get a wee team over them and like make them a wee cart. Oh God, they're amazing. 5k road, 10k bike. Tiny horses, man. It's the best thing ever. There's a person around here who's got tiny donkeys as well. I mean, what? Like, there's a weird obsession down here with, like, small animals, and it's not even my fault. I didn't, like, I, I didn't, I, I didn't do this thing. So there's relevance to that, like, so I've, I've, here I go again. Feel free to go. Feel, on you go. Feel free to go. And I'll just carry on. I'm going to carry on. So, um, when I moved back down here from Glasgow, I wanted to create Croft Fit. So Croft Fit, um, imagine like a, like a residential place that's got like yurts and shepherd's huts and stuff so people can come over from like the States because that's, that's where everybody does CrossFit, right? And they can stay on like a, a Scottish CrossFit camp and it's like a little, it's a croft, it's a, like a little working farm. Now when I say a little working farm, what I mean is it's all just little animals, it's all just tiny animals. It's just like little horses, little donkeys. Um, and little like pygmy goats and, and micro pigs and the, all the animals on the, the tiny farm are tiny except for the chickens, I want normal sized chickens because um, then they'll look like giant chickens next to the tiny animals and you can even get like tiny tractors and like my favourite at the moment, tiny diggers, right? And it'd just be like, who wouldn't be happy if they were there? It's like, like how could you be unhappy on like a crossfit tiny farm like anyway i'm halfway there i've got the space i'm building the garden there's tiny animals in the area watch this space hmm? it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen enjoy